good place to start when you're building out your self-service strategy is to collect customer requirements by asking them, as well as doing some data mining and trend analysis activities. Such avenues to collect requirements can include surveys, forums, focus groups, and other mechanisms. Knowing your customer base will help you then determine your approach. Can they absorb a big bang approach? Or do you need to face it out? Will they immediately adopt change? Or do you need to plan for adoption strategies? And knowing your customers will also help you build an effective communication plan. To help you as you plan for self-service, let's take a look at some best practices. You don't want to exert effort on self-service if your customers aren't going to use it. This is why it's important to drive your customers directly to your site. So don't give them an easy way out by publishing your contact information on the com company internet, for example. Keep the design of the portal as clean and simple as possible and try to do some personalization of the site to make it recognizable to your customers. You don't want to design anything too complex, but you should try and give them choices. In the age of technical disruption, we expect choices. So good practices include leveraging templates, top 10 lists, and giving them a variety of ways to engage with you. But behind the scenes, it's still on your terms. FAQs, targeted marketing, and posters are a few examples to consider what your communication plan will entail. Tutorial videos and gamification apps such as Bunchball should be considered to help foster adoption. And don't forget about behavior modification strategies. This is really about driving desired behaviors, so consider some reward and consequence techniques that may work for you. One size does not fit all here, but if your customers learn that they can get quicker resolutions using self-service rather than calling the help desk, it won't take them long to make the right choice. Within our Remedy Force customer enablement team, we've developed some shareable content to help you with adoption. So reach out to your CSM if you need some poster templates or communication templates, or if you'd like to learn more about Bunchball. The Remedy for Self-Service Portal is going to be a big part of your overall self-service strategy. So to recap some helpful tips, make sure you're designing for consistency rather than designing for the exception. Use language your customers are going to understand. Make it easy for your customers to find information and make sure you're monitoring their usage so you can make changes if needed. A great example here is if your customers are using a back door to raise a ticket because it's too kind time consuming to figure out how to pick the right category, you might want to reconsider the categories you offer to your customers or remove the access to the back door. So in this example, removing the submit a ticket link. If you have further questions or assistance requirements on self-service strategy, please don't hesitate to reach out to your CSM. The next part of this video tutorial will focus on getting into Remedy Force and actually setting it up and configuring self-service.